Hello everybody. You know we've done the video on uh, America isn't independent to the UK. Someone told me to go and have a look at this and says this is the person where it started with the Magna Carta. And that meant that he couldn't make decisions on his own, so some kind of parliament. But I wanted to look at all his children. He has quite a few children. Well, there's no pictures of them because they'd be paintings anyway, but there was quite a few of them. And I noticed, you know, the word Fitzroy was on there. So, those are all the children he had, whether he had them in, they weren't illegitimate or they were legit legitimate. Anyway, Fitzroy means the name of a boy, name of an English origin meaning the son of the king, an English surname originally given to illegitimate sons of the monarch. So, he had quite a few children. And don't forget, I don't mean to be horrible, I'm not doing it to be, I'm just trying to say that there's a lot more dark-skinned people in this royal family as well, uh, considering Henry VIII now doesn't look English. Anyway, that is the kind of map. So it comes, comes down here, goes to here, then goes down here, then comes back across here. But I, I tried to blow it up, it's a bit small. So later on we go through the book a little bit to show you where all the kings line up. That's the map, but uh, it's a bit too small, but uh, quite a few people, isn't there really? I was trying to look to see, but it's just too deep, I just, yeah. But this king couldn't really move forward all the time. They said they always kept pointing him back to the Magna Carta, so he could never move on. But all these people that they say were crappy were actually the good kings or even maybe queens, because we come across another queen that I hadn't even known about. Like, why does she suddenly appear? And the crazy thing is she did, like, I'm not saying it was good, but some momentous thing happened when she was in power, yet they said, oh, because she wasn't like Victoria and the rest of them, they didn't put her in. So it's a bit hard to understand who's making the decisions to say whether they're good or bad. It should just be a list of what they did not someone having an opinion about how good or bad a king is. Because what we're finding out is, for instance, what was he? He was Henry, I think it was Henry the Sixth. We did him a few weeks ago or last week. And they said he was a bad, he came to power when he was a baby. Or was he, a, I think he was a baby. Oh, anyway, he came to power and he didn't want to be involved. He wanted peace. And basically, I'm not sure if he was the baby actually, but he wanted peace and they deemed him as a bad king because he didn't want to go fighting and he lost France back to France. And at that point, England owned France and then he lost it. But he wanted peace, he had this whole day where everybody was walking through the town holding hands and um, they saw him as a crappy king. But at the same time, they're building buildings like this. Yes, that one there is demolished, but look at what they're able to build, even in water. Come on. I mean, in some sense you think, how could they build that? In other sense, you look at it and you think, yeah, it does look quite old. But maybe these were, maybe they've petrified. Maybe they were living in Camelot. And these are petrified into stone and things. Anyway, no, but look at how they're able to build and what they're able to build. Amazing, don't you think? You know, in the 1600s, 1700s, if we'd had horses, what did, and carts, what did they have? So they're obviously not telling us the truth about the history there. Look at what they're able to build. You can't just slap one of those things up and say, hey, we've done it, it's up. You need architects, you need time. You'd need, you need to get the materials there. You know, it'd be hours of work, it'd be many men, it'd be, wow. Anyway, these are the kings. So it was King John. There he is there, which you can read. You can stop this video at any time. Then comes Henry III. We've already done a bit further on than that, but these are the next kings. 
So it's Henry the Second, Richard the First, the Lionheart. We've gone back a little bit further, but at least you can see them with all the adverts. Then we've got John. Then we go to Edward. Then we go right here. Edward the First, Edward the Second, Edward the Third, Richard the Second. Then over to the House of Lancasters with Henry the Fourth, Henry the Fifth. Six with the beginning of the War of the Roses. That's the King Henry the Sixth. I was just talking about. There you go. He did come to the throne as a baby, and he didn't want to fight, but they put him down as a bad king. And you've got Edward the Fourth over to the House of York, still in the in the War of the Roses. And Richard the Third comes afterwards after Henry Edward the Fourth. Ah, Edward the Fifth, and then um, that's Richard the Third. And then you get into the Tudors. I've just gone back to look at that, by the way. Then we get into the Tudors. Henry the Seventh, Henry the Eighth. Edward the Sixth. And then comes Mary the First. And she had a dark-skinned child. I think Elizabeth the First was dark-skinned. Edward the Fourth was, Richard the Third, they're all illegitimate anyway. Remember we've done the video, they're all illegitimate. And James the First, Charles the First. Oh, then we go into a Commonwealth. Got Oliver Cromwell, then his son. Edwards. Charles the Second, James the Second. think he's the one he's the one that basically made America a, a, a um, corporation then comes Anne I was quite shocked about that there is Anne 17 pregnancies and one child survived but died of smallpox at the age of 11 so I, I decided to go and have a look a bit of her I thought wow she's never been there for me but then you find that they, sometimes the kings are in, they're out, they're in, they're out. And in history, they're not listed like that. And occasionally you find it listed. That happens with the War of the Roses. Everybody there is in, out, in, out, shake it all about. And then they're back, out, in, out. All bizarre. But I decided to go and have a look at Anne a little bit. There she was, 16, 17, 14. She's the last of the stewards. So she was small, wasn't maybe the most beautiful list of person, and she married Prince George of Denmark, who was a drunk and a bore. Mm. And then come all the adverts, sorry, with um, McAvee in it. Anyway, there's a little bit more. You can stop it and have a look at it. She was 37 when she became queen. It's like they know her. more information that to me looked like Buckingham Palace but it's Blenheim Palace but it does that's what Buckingham Palace originally looked like and inside it's like that and then they built this front on it so I thought that was quite crazy Look at what they've got, and look what they are. They just don't go together, do they? Maybe they moved in to what was there. Anyway, um, it said that her reign wasn't the most brilliant one. Um, Queen Anne was a brilliant one. It says, having endured ill health most of her life, Anne died after suffering a stroke on Sunday the 1st of August 1714 at the age of 49. Anne does not enjoy the same place in history as uh, some other queens of England, perhaps because she lacked the charisma of Elizabeth I, Mary I, or Victoria. Her reign, uh, in her reign, great deeds were done. That's crazy, isn't it? So quiet about her. The United 
Kingdom of Great Britain was created during her reign by the Union of England and Scotland. Wow, they've kept rather quiet about her, haven't they? And as I said, you know, that, that building is just so like Buckingham Palace, the original one. But anyway, you can stop and read this at any point you want. I'm just trying to put the information in the mix. It's always good to know your history, isn't it? Because it's never what you think it is. Anyway, I think we've got to the end now. She was 49, yeah. There you go, that's the end of it. There it is again. So now, if you... Well, we don't. I don't believe in them anymore, but if you did, then she's a good queen. She's not listed because she didn't have the charisma. So what? Isn't it what she created is the most important thing? You know what? I've been looking at history. I don't remember seeing her before, but anyway, maybe that's the Mandela effect. But anyway, we're back to the kings now. It's gone down a bit far, so we were up here. There she is, and she was there for a few years. Then the Hanover, Hanovens. That's German, isn't it? And you've got Queen Victoria, and then her son becomes the House of. Coburg and Gotha. And then also, then his son comes to House of Windsor. And you know that they changed their name probably because it was a German name, but anyway. And then on to the current person. So anyway, that was a run through some of the kings and queens. And you know the other really, really crazy thing? I just find it crazy from past research, whether it's true or not, but it's what this website told me, and I put a video out about it, because this person is more royal than the royals. So you imagine every single person that you see here, she is related to. She's related to Sarah Ferguson, she's related to Kate Middleton, either through, um, that's where we started today. Oh no, that's Edward the, oh I've got confused now, it's moving around. But um, yeah, she's related to all these people, whether it's through marriage or through genes, you know, her blood line. But even so, through marriage, and they're marrying these families together, Anyway, we're just going through them again so you can see them. That's who is more related to all these people. Ellen DeGeneres. I just find that really crazy. There she is, a comedian. I'm like a princess in hiding. She's more related. I did a video about this. Her blood line. It's related to all these people. She's like the granddaughter, 26 removed of whatever. Um, anyway, that's a bit of history today. Thanks for watching my video. What do you think? Just a little bit more history. It's really hard to put it all together because none of it's true. Well, it's not been told to us correctly.